Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I get a lot of questions about my hydraulic forging press, so I thought I'd give you a walkthrough. Maybe there's some things that'll help you out here. I used Dr. James Baston's book on building a hydraulic forge press. It helped me tremendously, especially the engineering. There's some rudimentary drawings in there, but it'll definitely put you on your way to building your own hydraulic forge press. It's just time and materials, but you can do it. I'll put a link to his book in the description. But anyway, let's go take a look. Here's a look at the press as it stands. I still haven't put any wheels on it, but it's easy to move with an overhead come along or chain fall. So starting down at our drive system, I'm using a 16 gallon a minute pump, five horsepower, 230 volt single phase motor is driving that. I'm coming out of a 10 gallon hydraulic tank. Most people use high pressure hoses on these connections right here. I went with tubing, but you have to make sure that your ID on your tubing is the correct size for what's engineered. I had this tubing a long time. I won't have a link to it, but I was able to use it on this build, but you can easily get the high pressure hydraulic hoses, which you'll need with swivel fittings from the supplier. The cylinder is two inch by 10 inch. I'll try to put links to this stuff in the description. Got a filter on this side with our switching valve. I made a foot pedal for mine. Now the book does not show how to build a foot pedal link system, but as you can see, it's not all that difficult comes up to your lever. I just made some clamps to hold it. So the die holder system is pretty simple. And the top one. And she's done. Another thing that I would suggest is that when you put your hoses on, you put a protective sleeve on it. You can see that I have not done that on this return line, but you definitely want to protect those lines from hot billets hitting them and causing some serious issues. So I made the shield to keep hot scale off my tank and down here off of the return line. But again, put sleeves on all of your lines. These stainless lines don't have to worry so much. Anyway, just a quick walk through. Like I said, Dr. James Baston's book is where I got all of my information, the engineering to build the press I wanted to build. It's plenty fast and plenty powerful. I'll show you a little quick clip of how fast it is. Anyway, I hope that helped some kind of way. If you got any questions, just leave them in the comments. Thanks. <laughs>